हेलो वनकम वेलकम नमस्कार मरहबा ओला बोन जोर सत श्री अकाल टू ऑल द लवली वॉरियर्स हु वॉन्ट टू एस द वी आई टी ट्रिपल ही ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एग्जाम सो दिस इज अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट सेशन बिकॉज नॉट ओनली आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट द पैटर्न एंड हाउ यू शुड अटैम्प बट ऑल्सो वी विल बी डूइंग लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो गेट रेडी विद मी श्रेयस योर फिजिक्स मास्टर टीचर एंड I hope your J means examination has gone well, and let me know in the chat box how was the J means exam, especially if you are in the twenty fourth to twenty seventh shifts. But if your exam is tomorrow or day after tomorrow, well, this mock test will also help you in your J preparation. And do not forget to check out our Telegram channel because I am posting all the questions which we have recovered from the students' memory of the J means examination for all the shifts. so make sure you are a part of the telegram channel i'm posting the pdf of all the questions we have collected and the link for joining the telegram is there in the description box below amrita nanchu saying kal hai exam all right hi roshan nice to see you back hi mukund hari uh, shubha welcome welcome everyone to the channel and my name is shreyas i'm the physics master teacher and i'm really proud and happy to educate millions and millions of kids out here and on this platform i'm pretty sure all those students who are deprived of competitive exam preparation especially in english medium here we are uh, uh, on uh, we and light so that you can cater to all the engineering and medical aspirants you know uh, dreams to enter into a dream college be it engineering or medical or a science a science and research uh, college so here we are and if you want to know more about me then you can definitely follow me on my instagram handle that is captain_stress uh shruti uh, neat is already started there are couple of mock tests for neat exam already on the channel make sure you check them out all right yes definitely you can watch the previous years uh, vit triple e mock test paper solving as well awesome gautam i am very happy that you will score 90 in this attempt only thank you so much keep it up bachcha keep it up very good hello khushi ha okay hi gayatri when i'll i can uh, conduct the physics mock test series for j I'll be doing it. Uh, I think day after tomorrow. Okay. Wanna come? Wanna come? Hello, Mokshigana. So let's quickly understand how the VIT Triple E exam is because if you do not understand the exam, then you cannot prepare well. Just solving questions is not enough. You need to have the proper mindset. And I have a special surprise for you. In just two three minutes, I'm going to tell you that surprise. Okay. Just hold on. All right. So have you smashed the like button? Hey, smash the like button. If you're not smash the like button, what are you doing? Come on, go do that. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, do that as well. Else, you'll miss out on a lot of important things. Okay, so let's move on. So candidates must have passed ten plus two exam. That's the basic eligibility. And the lower age limit is seventeen years. So you need to check that. I'm pretty sure most of you are. And you must have obtained sixty percent marks in the above subjects. Okay, so sixty percent board marks is mandatory. Now the exam is going to be computer based. Total questions is 125. Division of questions 35. Physics, chemistry 35. Maths 40. Aptitude 10. English 5. Total marks 125. Time duration is very interesting. 90 minutes. This is the most important part. 90 minutes. Marking scheme 10. No negative marks. So that means you can definitely attempt all the questions. So first thing to keep in mind. If you do not know something, if you feel that it is lengthy, just make sure you narrow down the options. And by fluke or by luck, if you get the answer, that's good. But you should definitely attempt everything. Is that clear, everybody? Give me a thumbs up. You will not leave any question because no negative marks. Okay? You need to be really fast in calculations. Now, what was the special surprise that I was telling you? Oh, it was one fifty. Okay, I think there was a printing mistake then. I should have checked it. Okay, I think it's a printing mistake then. I'm so sorry, guys. This was supposed to be one. Uh, if it's supposed to be one fifty or one twenty, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If there is a printing mistake, I'll just get it corrected. Okay, my bad. But I I know for sure it is one twenty five marks. Now the surprise that I wanted to tell you is basically aptitude and English. Aptitude and English. This part I'll be conducting a class day after tomorrow for all you guys. Special questions, mock questions for aptitude and English for the VIT Triple E exam. All right, yeah, awesome, awesome. Let's move on now uh, to the 
VIT related information. So you should know that VIT, Vellore Institute of Technology, is situated in Vellore. They also have Chennai campus and some campuses apart from Chennai as well. But the most important campuses are Vellore and Chennai. Do not go anywhere else. Uh, so if you want computer science engineering, you should get well below 7000 All India rank. All right. Highest package offered in VIT was around 44 lakhs in the previous years. And the average package has been somewhere between 7 to 8 lakhs, which is a good package. Also, the college fees are a little bit costly. 1 lakh 70 to 1 lakh 95,000. Hostel fees, etc. will be separate. So you can expect around 15 lakhs to, you know, around plus or minus 2-3 lakhs for your complete education uh, in VIT for the entire four years. So this is what you should expect. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So will VIT triple be like CBSC? Not exactly like CBSC. It's a simpler version of mains. But these days, you know, mains exam only is so simple. So it will be of mains level only. Okay. Bitsat series also coming up next week. I already have given my schedule for the next week to our uh, managers and the backend team. Bitsat strategies as well as videos as well as mock tests for English, uh, uh, you know, mental ability, physics, everything is planned already. Yeah. So uh, the thing is, VIT AAA is very uh, less level than J mains. But since J mains itself is very less this year, so you can expect very easy questions of mains to be of uh, VIT AAA exam. Okay, let's start with the questions, my warriors. Here comes the first question on your screen. Thank you, Rukesh. Hello, my warriors. And if you're loving that surprise, which I just gave you that I'll be conducting math and English on this channel for VIT AAA, go ahead, smash the like button if you have not done that yet. Okay, here it comes. J exam done. Sandhya, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now time to prepare for VIT AAA, second attempt as well as J advance, as well as bit set. You did this question. Wow, very good. So let's see how many of you can figure out how to solve the question. Read the question carefully. There are two large sheets of plastic facing each other. One uh, is having a density of minus N0 and the other is having a density of three times of N0. And what is the magnitude and the direction of the field in the region between the two sheets? That means over here. So this negative N0, this negative N0 will obviously create a field here. And this 3N0 will also create a field here. Negative will pull, it will create an attractive field. This will create a repulsive field from that particular sheet. So the net electric field will be the electric field due to N0 and also the electric field due to 3N0. Both will add because they are helping each other. Electric field due to N0 will be sigma. Sigma is itself N0 by 2 epsilon naught plus here it will have 3 N0 by 2 epsilon naught. So it will be 4 by 2 N0 by epsilon naught. So it is 2 times N0 by epsilon naught. Just check this out. Option C. Yep, it is option C indeed. You can see it is towards the left because both of them will add each other. Many students make a common mistake here. What's the common mistake? They subtract. And when you subtract, 3 minus 1 comes out to be 2. 2 by 2 is 1. So they end up marking either option A or option B, which is definitely not correct. Be careful about it. Okay. I hope this is clear. So Sri Krishna, I'll be posting the PDF of the J mains shifts, the questions that we have collected on Telegram channel. Okay. That's what I'll be doing. The J mains paper, because it is so easy. There is nothing like to discuss in that. I mean, especially the physics part. I felt it was very, very straightforward. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, but if you feel that there are some questions which need to be discussed, yep, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect all the good questions of 25th, 26th, 27th, that is today, also tomorrow and day after tomorrow's, all the good questions and I'll be doing a, maybe one or two sessions on all the good questions of these sessions. That will be helpful than just doing all the questions, which is very easy. Rather, I would put the PDF which has all the answer keys in it. I hope that is clear. Okay, why left? Because both of them are going to be towards the left side. Hence, they will add and give it to the left. Okay, that's the reason for that. The wire in a potentiometer has resistance this much. Wire is connected to a battery. Resistance R whose value has to be measured is connected. The sliding point is exactly in the middle. The voltage across this R is V by 4. What is the value of R0? Okay, let's try to, let's try to understand what is the diagram. It's actually a very simple question. 
this is your potentiometer wire okay this is your potentiometer wire okay this is your plus v volts okay this is let's say zero volts there is a voltage difference of v volts because it is connected to a battery of v volts now what you have done is basically connected you have connected a resistor of resistance r in parallel and it's connected exactly at the midpoint it's connected at the midpoint of that potentiometer wire and then you find that the voltage across the potentiometer uh, for that sorry for that resistance is v by 4 so the voltage drop across this is v by 4 naturally the remaining voltage will be 3 v by 4 which will be dropped across these two points v by 4 plus 3 v by 4 will be total voltage difference now this is it if you know this diagram you can solve the question very easily all you need to do is draw the equivalent diagram for this the equivalent diagram for this will be nothing but show one resistor here and since this is midpoint and this total resistance was r0 each of the half part will be r0 by 2 r0 by 2 resistance for half half wires of the potentiometer so each half of the potentiometer will be nothing but r0 by 2 and this will be remaining will be r0 by 2 that is it so this is nothing but v this is nothing but zero and the voltage difference across them was v by 4 across this is 3 v by 4 now guess what since their combination r and r0 by 2 is in series with r0 by 2 in series current is same so in series in series in series current is basically same so hence voltage is directly proportional to the resistance the voltage difference is directly proportional to the resistance hence i can say the resistance of r and r0 by 2 which is in series with r0 by 2 this one is in series with this one so the voltage difference across this is v by 4 and the voltage difference across that one is nothing but 3 v by 4 is nothing but resistance of this upon resistance of this this is in parallel so it will be r into r0 upon r sorry r0 by 2 upon r plus r0 by 2 that's the one over here this one will be nothing but r0 by 2 so this is slightly lengthy but it is very simple trust me on this okay now 4 4 cancels vv cancels so you'll get 1 by 3 you can also see r0 r0 cancels and uh, you can write this as r by 2 upon r plus r0 by 2 the whole thing upon r0 and this r0 have cancelled okay so it is just 1 by 2 this you can also write it as take lcm you can see 2 2 will cancel it will be r upon 2 r plus r0 the whole thing divided by this is nothing but half so if you want you can also write this as 1 by 3 this uh, this is nothing but 2 will go over there just check this out okay this 2 will go over there right so this will become 2r by 2r plus r0 now you just need to solve this and find the value it's not that difficult just multiply this you will get this as 2r plus r0 is equal to 6r just rearrange it r0 will be equal to 4r so the ratio of r by r0 will be nothing but 1 by 4 hence that's the answer that's the answer 1 by 4 which is option a just check this out yes it is option a what a beautiful question uh, rattle relax it is in fact much simpler than bit set okay bit set level is slightly higher but uh, almost similar but not so difficult also okay for english and math it's a beautiful question completely based on series parallel circuit moving on to the next question let's see how many if you can do this okay now now no these are not necessarily pyqs these are mock questions these are model based questions these kind of models can come in your vit triple e a charge of one coulomb placed at one end of a rod of radius this much the rod is rotated in a vertical plane so that the other end of the rod rotates with this much speed the magnetic field at the center of the path is how much so let's understand that if you have a charged particle this is the rod this is the center and this charged particle goes around in a circular path with certain speed this is like a current loop this is like a current loop and because of a current carrying loop 
you know that at the center, at the center there is a magnetic field. The magnetic field formula is nothing but mu naught i by twice the radius. But the problem is I do not know the current. The current carrying loop equivalent will be nothing but the charge which is flowing by the time period and the time period is nothing but 2 pi divided by omega. So time of circular motion is 2 pi by omega standard formula. So put that current value over here which is nothing but q omega by 2 pi rest of the things as it is. Rest of the things as it is mu naught by 2r. 2 into 2 is 4. So this is going to be mu naught by 4 pi. You will have q into omega divided by r. Now substitute everything mu naught by 2 pi is 10 to the power minus 7. The charge value is nothing but 1 coulomb. The angular speed, uh, I think this pi was not there my warriors. This pi was not supposed to be there. I think it came by mistake. It is nothing but 10 to the power 4 and r value, okay, this r value was supposed to be, uh, what is it, 0. 0.6. This over here was supposed to be 6 into 10 to the power 4. There is a printing mistake. I'm just correcting it right now over here. It was supposed to be 6 into 10 to the power 4. So basically you will have 6 into 10 to the power 4 over here as omega r is 0. 0.6. So this will be nothing but 10 to the power minus 7. 6 by 0. 0.6 is nothing but 10. And you will also see this is 10 to the power 4. So this will be 10 to the power 5. So 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power minus 7 is 10 to the power minus 2, which is 0 0.01 Tesla. So 0 0.01 Tesla is the answer. So option B should be correct. Option B should be correct. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. So there was a printing mistake. I have corrected it. I will also correct it on this slide over here. This was not pi. This was supposed to be 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 4 radians per second. Everybody with me on this? Understanding it? Yeah, VIT Ripley has higher weightage of class 12. Yes, Thalapati, it does. Oh, sure, 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 Thalapati. Okay, moving on. Next question coming up on your screen. There is a convex meniscus lens made of glass with a refractive index 1.52. The radius of curvature of convex side is this much. Concave side is this much. Find the focal length. The first thing you need to do is draw the diagram. Without drawing diagram, you will not get anything. So there is one convex side. There is one concave side. This is your convex concave lens. It's not double convex. Convex concave lens. If you notice, this is one radius of curvature. This is another radius of curvature. So there is center of curvature 1, center of curvature 2 for this lens. So there are two radii of curvature both on the same side. If you take this as negative, this will be the positive side. Assuming the light rays are coming like this, this is a parallel beam of light. Correct? Now let's try and solve the question. First of all, the question says find the focal length. That means you have to use the lens maker formula. The lens maker formula, which is nothing but 1 by f is mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So 1 by f will be equal to mu is nothing but 1.52 minus 1 whole thing upon 1 by r1. r1 and r2 both are positive because the centers are on the positive side. r1 the radius of curvature is 20 and this is r2 which is 40. Both are positive. So this will be 0.52 1 by 20 minus 1 by 40 2 minus 1 is 1. So taking LCM I think it should be just 1 by 40. So therefore, since this was 1 by f, f will be inverse of this. So 50 divided by 0.52. Now, we all know what is 40 divided by 0.5. 40 divided by 0.5 is nothing but 400 divided by 5, which is nothing but 80. So 80 will be the answer if it was 0.5. But if it is 0.52, denominator is larger. The answer, the answer for the focal length will be definitely less than 80 centimeters because the denominator is larger. So which is the answer which is less than 80? Option C. Yeah, that's how you need to do the calculations. Don't sit and actually divide 0.52 and 40. That's insane. Okay, so try to approximate, manipulate the uh, calculation so that you can get the answers very easily. Bitset mock test, Kushi, next week. I've heard all of you. 
Hello Pony, thank you, Bacha. Nice to see you from 3G. I hope you get into NIT 3G for sure. Very amazing college. Very good, Shreya. Awesome. Moving on to the next question. The half life of radium is 1600. After how many years, 25% of radium block will remain undecayed? This everybody has to get. Badri, welcome. Hello, Monica. Come on. Everybody should get this. It should not take you more than 20 to 30 seconds. Let's see how many of you can answer this for sure shot. You will nail VIT EEE exam. 100% you will nail the VIT EEE exam if you get this. I'm not saying if you don't, you will not. But guarantee. That means you know the theory properly. You know how to apply the concepts. You know how to apply the formula. Hello, SGS, Sudgar, Lokeshwaran saying A. Interesting. Come on, figure this out. Half-life is given after how many years 25% of radium block will remain undecayed. Undecayed. I'll be posting the shift tools questions in the telegram. No primary use. Okay. Hello, Sunita. Option A, sure. Let's see how many of you are actually going to ace it. Half-life is given after how many years 25% of the radium block will remain. If this was the initial amount of nuclei present radioactive of radium after one half life you will see it will become n by 2 after two half lives it will become n by 4 this is remaining this is remaining that is basically 25 percent undecayed 25 percent is still remaining undecayed it has to still uh, you know react radioactivity uh, so that it can convert it into its daughter nuclei so two times of half life so 2 into 1600 is nothing but 3200 very good very good yeah the session pdf will be available after the class there you go that's the correct answer awesomeness uh, IITN, I'm already taking the AI live class for J2024 batch. There might be a new batch which will be starting there also. I will be only teaching. So the AI batches, both for Sankal, that's the 12th standard, Drishti, 11th standard, both the batches and even Manthan. Manthan is uh, the dropper batch. So all the three batches I'm taking. You join any batch, you'll find me. You'll be like, sir, you're everywhere. So Drishti is 11th, Manthan is dropper, which is the repeaters batch. And also Sankal. Sankal is the 12th standard batch. All the three batches you will find me. Okay. There is a link. If the, you cannot find the link IITN, just leave a comment after the video ends and mention which batch you want to join in which language. I will send you the link or comment on that uh, comment. Okay. I'll reply to your comment after the video ends. Okay. Next question. Intrinsic silicon at 300 Kelvin has electron density and hole density this much. If doping it by indium increases the whole concentration to this much what is the electron concentration in the doped silicon thank you Arish so much means a lot thank you thank you so much hello shooter spot Ayush I'm very good I hope your JEE exam went very well okay all right neat NT also coming very soon don't worry so guys there is a simple formula which says the concentration of intrinsic semiconductors uh, you know hole and electrons square will be electron concentration into the hole concentration this is the formula so ni ni is intrinsic so that intrinsic value is given to be 1.5 into 10 to the power 16 so you have to square this is equal to whole concentration is given whole concentration is 4.5 into 10 to the power 22 electron concentration is asked so the electron concentration will be 1.5 square is nothing but 2.25 into 10 to the power 32 bring this 4.5 below over here which is nothing but 4.5 into 10 to the power 22 now this will go how many times guys this will go 0.5 times just check this out okay so this will go 0.5 times because 2 2.25 is exactly half of 4.5 so into 10 to the power 10 so this is 0.5 is there right over there. So it is 5 into 10 to the power 9, which is option A, of course. Very good. Hello, Ankita. Can I prepare for VIT by doing JE mains PYQs? Yes. It will be slightly an overkill because JE mains PYQs will be slightly tougher than VIT triple E. 
But yes, you can prepare. For VIT Drupal, questions are very simplistic. So do the easier PYQs of JE mains. Very easy ones. Okay, moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next one. And by the way, guys, last year also I had conducted VIT Drupal mock tests with SRF, JE and all of that. So please check out the playlist. It's there in the home page only. Just go down, go down, go down. You'll find VIT Drupal playlist by me. Okay. All right. A mass M just completes a rotation in a vertical circle of radius R and has a circular speed. Okay. Uh, we see at the top. If the radius of the circle increases by four times, the circular speed at the top will be how much? If the mass is just able to complete the rotation. The aptitude in the VIT triple exam Mukun will be logical questions, data analysis questions or some puzzle kind of questions or series completion or maybe let's say uh, based on some kind of a riddle. Okay, those kind of questions. Okay, or some chart is given or some kind of figures are they were given you have to complete it. So those are aptitude based questions. Okay, it's not general knowledge. It's aptitude. So it is based on your thinking at that point of time. Okay, awesome. So what do you guys think about it? If it is just able to complete the vertical circular motion, then at the topmost point, the velocity will be given by root of gr for it to complete the circular motion. Now, if the radius of the circle, if the radius of the circle increases four times, then the velocity will increase root of four times. Root of four is basically two times. So the velocity will increase two times. Where is it? Increased by a factor of two. There you go. Interesting. So this word was important that the mass is just able to complete the circle. So the topmost point speed is root gr. At the bottommost point, the speed will be root 5 gr. So if radius increases four times, since it is under the root, speed increases two times. That's the answer. Everybody with me? Moving on. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on to the next one. Bitset is not on 4th July, Bacha. I don't think so. It's much later than that. Okay. Uh, oh, your first attempt is on 4th July. Okay, fine. I'll try and do it. Okay, okay, okay. Take it, take it. Uh, the effective capacitance between the terminals A and D as shown in the figure is how much? Okay. All right. Okay, no problem, Roshan. I'll definitely try and conduct one. So, in this circuit, you will notice this is 3, this is 6, this is 1, this is 2. This is a balanced Wheatstone. This is a balanced, balanced Wheatstone. The reason why it is a balanced Wheatstone is because you can see 3 divided by 6 is equal to 1 divided by 2. So, you can completely ignore this and this. So, now you just need to figure out what is the equivalent of these two capacitors which are in series also these two capacitors one after the other are also in series so this equivalent will be c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 so 3 into 6 by 3 plus 6 which is 18 by 9 which is 2 microfarad this one is 1 into 2 upon 1 plus 2 which is 2 by 3 microfarad now these two are in parallel parallel capacitors just add so hence the effective capacitance will be 2 plus 2 by 3 3 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 8 by 3 microfarad that is the answer very amazing option d it is very good roshan shreya judru awesome guy three chikala arjun very good very good everyone everyone very good thalapati okay uh, Ganesh Rao, I saw that uh, first of all, the papers are very simple, especially for physics. So instead of doing discussion for all the questions, I am providing the PDF on the Telegram channel. Like you can see, the, all the PDFs are given, number one. Number two, all the important questions, tricky questions, which you will be getting even after some time. I'll be doing a collective session of all the tricky and good questions of 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That will help you for your second attempt. That is what I'm planning to do. I hope you understood the logic behind it. Plus, a lot of students are asking sessions to be done for VIT, Triple E and Bitset. So, you know, we need to also work on that. 
Anyways, these sessions will also help you for JE mains discussion. Plus, quickly you can go through the PDF. It will save you a lot of time than attending the discussion because most of the questions you know or you would have done or they are very simple. So, only the tricky ones, maybe I will help you out with that after some days. Is that okay, bacha? I hope you understood the rationale behind it. It will save you a lot of time. Alright? Moving on to the next question. In an electrical circuit, LCR, you see that when L is removed, then the phase difference between voltage and current is this much. If instead C is removed, then the phase difference is again this much. What is the power factor? There is no need of doing any calculations in this. This is a direct question. For the first part, for the first part, when L is removed, this is the phase difference. When L is removed, it is nothing but going to be AC circuit with AC circuit with R and C. And if you remember, the voltage across the resistor is always in line with the current. So voltage across the resistor is always in line with the current. Whereas the voltage across the capacitor lags behind by 90 degrees for a RC circuit connected to AC with the current. Okay. Now the resultant voltage makes an angle of pi by 3, which is nothing but 60 degrees. This is the first case. This is the first case. This is the net voltage. Now in the second case, if capacitance is removed, the phase difference is again this much. So now it becomes AC circuit, AC circuit with LR. Now if this is the current phaser, the voltage across the resistor is in phase with the current. Voltage across the inductor leads the current by 90 degrees. Leads the current by 90 degrees. So the net voltage will be here. And this angle is again given to be 60 degrees. Now, this clearly tells you, this is the same vector whose component is Vr. So, think about it, V cos 60 is equal to Vr. Not just that, you can also see that tan 60, tan 60 is Vl by Vr. Not just that, here also you can see tan 60, tan 60 is Vc by Vr. From this, since tan 60 and tan 60 are equal over here and here, hence Vc and Vl both are equal. Both are equal. So if Vl equals to Vc, it is nothing but resonance. It is nothing but resonance. So in the LCR circuit, what you will see, the phase difference is 0 and cos phi is nothing but 1. That is the power factor, which is option C. A lot of you got zero marks in this. The answer is not B, it is C. The question was not the phase difference. Question is find the power factor. Question is find the power factor. Love is above all. Very true. Very true. Love is above all. See, you can see. Love is above everything else. That's how you remember who is ahead of whom. Uh, crazy trimmer, my batch. It's all there. I'm taking the Drishti batch. I'm also taking the Sankal batch. Drishti is 11th batch. I'm also taking the 12th standard batch. I'm also taking the Manthan batch, which is the dropper batch. I'm also taking the neat uh, dropper batch, which is a live batch right now, which has started today. Okay. Uh, Sai, I've already made a good video about VR. I have conducted one interview with a gold medalist student as well. Just search for Shreyas Sir B Arc. Shreyas Sir B Arc on YouTube or on our channel, you will get it. Okay, moving on to the next one. The wavelength, the wavelength of X-ray K alpha line is this much. The wavelength for K beta line is how much? You should know first what is K alpha and K beta. Without that, you will not be able to solve it. So if this is the K shell, if this is the K shell, K alpha means this transition. This is called as K alpha. This transition is called K beta. This is K gamma and so on and so forth. So the wavelength of the other line is asked. So I think I will use the Rydberg formula as simple as that. So 1 upon lambda of that k alpha line will be nothing but Rydberg's constant 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square. 1 and 2. This is n is 1, this is n is 2. Similarly, 1 by lambda of k beta will be Rydberg constant 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 3 square. Obviously, the most logical step is to divide both of them. The moment you divide, this will become lambda of k beta, this is 1 by lambda, upon lambda of k alpha will be, this by this RR cancels, so this will become 1 minus 1 by 4 upon 1 minus 1 by 9, 
uh, this is nothing but 3 by 4 this is nothing but 8 by 9 so this is nothing but 9 threes are 27 8 fours are 32 now this value this value was given to be how much uh, lambda of k alpha is given to be 0 0.32 interesting this is 0 0.32 this is 32 obviously it will cancel we'll just take it on the other side so this will be nothing but 0 0.32 by 32 into 27 this will go 100 times so this is nothing but 0.27 Armstrong that is the answer see if this makes sense yep option B it is there option B is there right over here uh, crazy dreamer uh, just leave a comment after the session ends I will ping you my batch link which you can join right away okay I'll definitely uh, tell you okay just leave a comment after the session ends that's how I can send you or else you'll get confused. You might join some wrong batch. I don't want that. Okay. So make sure that you will join the right batch. I'll send you the link. These questions will come in mains exam. Model can come definitely. Who says, who, who knows? Yep. Okay. All right. Very good Shreya. Moving on to the next one. Coming up on your screen. The number of alpha particles scattered at 60 is 100. The number of alpha particles scattered uh, at 90 degrees will be how much? in a gold leaf experiment, gold foil experiment. Now Rutherford, when he conducted the gold foil experiment, he saw that the most of the particles just go undeviated via a gold foil. Some particles get deviated slightly. Okay, very few particles get deviated slightly. Most of them will just go through the gold foil. A very few particles deviate by 180 degrees and some particles deviate by small angles. Okay, he found that the scattering number of particles scattered is inversely proportional to the sign of the sign of uh, uh, you know theta by 2 whole raised to 4 what is theta theta is the angle by which they have scattered n is the number of particles being scattered okay so you will see if the angle is small that means theta is small sign will be small 1 by that number will be very large so n will be large so when theta is small n is large when theta is large you will see n is very small this is the formula this is the formula as is yes manipal cs is very good so let's use this so the number of particles at 90 degrees upon number of particles scattered at 60 degrees will be nothing but sine raised to 4 90 by 2 and this is sine raised to 4 60 by 2 this is nothing but sine 30 so sine 30 is nothing but half half raised to 4 divided by 90 by 2 is 45 sine 45 is 1 by root 2 so square so this n 90 i do not know n 60 is how much n 60 is given 100 okay so n 90 will be 100 times 1 by 2 raised to 4 is 2 raised to 4 1 by root 2 Oh, sorry this is raised to 4 guys 1 by root 2 square is 1 by 2 square of that will be 1 by 4 so that 4 you will see will come on the top okay so this will become nothing but 100 just check this out this 4 and uh, this 2 raised to 4 it's nothing but 16 so this will become 100 by 4 which is nothing but 25 just check this out is that there yes option a option a there you go. Awesome. Oh, uh, Declanar Gamer, uh, the cutoff for Chennai CSE in VID Tripoli will be, I think, around 20,000 to 15,000 range, but I'm not sure. I need to check that. For Vellore, it is 7,000. For Chennai, it is obviously slightly less, but it is not too less also. It might be around that range. I need to check that out. Okay, moving on to the next one. Which of the following is used in reverse bias? Straight away direct question. How many of you can get this? Photodiode, LED, solar cell. Photodiode, solar cell, xenodiode. Xenodiode and LED. Photodiode and xenodiode. Okay. Kaushik, if you want to take MAC, well, then go only for Vellore uh, main branch. Don't go for Chennai branch. Make sure you are in the Vellore branch only. Okay. Best colleges in India, obviously NIT Trichy, NIT Suratkal, NIT Warangal, IIT Chennai, obviously, all right, Triple IT Hyderabad, Triple IT Bangalore, then comes 
your PSG, then VIT Tripoli, VIT, then SRM, Anna, all these are good colleges. Okay, option C or option D, decide guys. The correct answer is photodiode and zener diode. Remember in reverse bias, you will use zener diode because it is used like a voltage regulator and it is operated in the breakdown region. Photodiode, it's used uh, by, uh, in the reverse bias again, you uh, see that when the light is incident, a small reverse leakage current will flow and that leakage current is small and very sensitive to the light and that's what is done. Okay, so the correct answer is D my over here. Cool, moving on to the next one. This is also straightforward. The figure shows some of the electric field lines corresponding to an electric field. The figure suggests that where do you think is the field higher, where do you think the field is lower? Come on, direct question. A, B, C points are given. Look at the nature of the field lines. Compare the field strengths. A, B, C, D options are given. Percentile C for the NIT Warangal. NIT Warangal is a very good NIT of course. So you should have about 99 percentile for sure. There is no doubt about it. Okay. So 99 point something only it will be. So for the top branches, so it will be more than 99.6, 99.7 and all of that. Okay, option C, very good guys. Option C is correct because at this point and this point, the strength will be same and it will be very high. It will be high, but here it will be slightly weaker. Why is it weaker? Because the field lines are far away. If they are close, it's strong. If it's far, it's weak. That's how it goes. Moving on to the next one. The force is given this much. The question is, uh, if this force acts on an object from 2 I cap to 4 I cap meter, the work done is. The work done is. So the force acting on the particle is 2x plus 2x square. So right from x is equal to 2, to x is equal to 4, what is the work done in this path? That work done is straight away given by the integral of force with respect to dx. So integrate force with respect to dx with limits x1 and the x2 which is initial and final position. So 2x dx plus, oh I think it is 3, it is 3, okay, 3x three square dx limits will be from 2 to 4, so this is 2, this is 4, this is 2, this is 4. So integration of x is x square by 2, 2 2 cancels, so only x square remains, 2 and 4 are the limits. x square's integration is x cube by 3, 3 3 cancels, so it will be x cube itself and 2 and 4. This will be nothing but 4 square minus 2 square plus, plus 4 cube minus 2 cube. Now 4 square is 16, 16 minus 2 square which is 4 is nothing but 12 plus 4 cube is uh, nothing but 64, 64 minus 8 is 56. So this will be nothing but 68 joules. That's the answer. Let's try to figure it out. If it is there, yep, option B it is. Option B is the correct one, direct. Can you get 250 marks from 80 marks in 30 days in J? It's very, very tricky Valamarthi, 250 plus is very difficult. It's not so easy, that too from 80 marks. Maybe you can attempt for 180 plus, but 250 is very difficult unless you got 80 marks because of some really stupid mistake or because uh, you know you went uh, something wrong or you blanked out or something happened, you're not well, then it is a different story. So there are students who have gone from 80 to 250 also, but because of some other reason. But if you have not studied, that's why you got 80 or not practiced enough, that's why you got 80 and then you want to jump to 250 in just next 15-20 days, it is difficult. I'm not trying to demotivate you. You might find somebody who will tell, yes, it is possible, then they will be lying to you. Okay, so I don't lie over here on the channel and just tell you, oh, yes, it is possible. Okay, go ahead, uh, join this course, join that course and then definitely you'll get 250. No, I'm telling you straightforward, it is not possible because then it will be an insult to all the students who have been working for more than one year. And then everybody will start studying in the last time and then they will get 250. Okay, but yes, you can get 180, 160, that range you can get, definitely. Okay, moving on to the next question coming up on your screen. A raindrop of this much mass is falling with terminal speed this much. What is the net weight of the drop? Jai Varshan, I'm very good. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Devraj, 
uh, well definitely if you want to buy the course just leave me a comment after the session and i will help you out with the link which course you can buy okay come on let's see a range drop of mass this much is falling with the terminal speed what is the net weight of the drop see if it is falling with terminal speed that means that speed is constant and if speed is constant that means acceleration is zero that means the net weight will be also zero that's it whatever is the upward force is the downward force that's it zero newton is the answer all the buoyant forces are being balanced by the weight and the viscous forces so apparent weight will be zero net weight it's not the weight it is the net so this net means the apparent weight it's the sum of all the forces that's it that's the answer moving on to the next question what will be the temperature what will be the temperature of the maximum uh, i think there is some wording mistake if 100 gram ice what if, this is not maximum of the mixture this is supposed to be mixture if 100 gram ice at zero is put in 100 gram water at 80 degrees celsius latent heat is also given so first of all if you have ice which is at zero degree celsius you want to convert it just into water at zero degree celsius how much heat you require to melt it so heat required to melt it will be nothing but m into l mass is 100 and latent heat is 80 so this will be nothing but correct it is 80 so this will be nothing but 8000 calories so 8000 calories is just required to melt it now look at that hot water hot water is at 80 degrees celsius so that water which is there at 80 degrees celsius to cool it to let's say water only but at zero degrees celsius i'm just trying to see which heat is more which heat is less nothing else the the heat heat given out by cooling when you cool obviously the heat will be given out okay that heat can be used to melt it that will be nothing but mc delta t mass is how much 100 grams again specific heat capacity is 1 change in temperature is again 80 oh this is also just 8000 calories it's also 8000 calories what does this tell you what does this tell you come on think about it what does this tell you ha lokesh vijay kumar saying option b no it is not 45 degrees whatever heat this water gives till it comes to 0 degree celsius is exactly enough to melt that ice into water at 0 degree celsius now don't you see 0 degree celsius and 0 degree celsius together they will be in thermal thermal equilibrium so they will reach thermal equilibrium at 0 the ice melted into 0 degree celsius water the hot water also came to 0 both their temperatures are same so that's it nothing will happen after that heat is transferred only from hot to cold bodies if temperatures are same then there is no net heat transfer hence the answer will be zero degree celsius very true very good d option anda very good lotion anda is the answer okay backspace i think i have mentioned why i'm not solving the je shifts anymore uh, somebody can probably help backspace with that okay i think i have repeated more than two three times now next question blisters blisters specific heat capacity topic is difficult just watch one lecture of mine i've done calorie meter heat transfer uh, that process of specific heat capacity and uh, you know uh, latent heat how those problems have to be solved i have solved few problems it will take you not more than one one and a half hour just watch it trust me it will be very easy after that okay so i'll be conducting how to improve your score uh, you know after some days uh, just hold on for all the shifts to get over definitely okay option d Shreya also says, okay, interesting. Sohan says B. Vijay Kumar says D. What about others? Blisters. Blisters means boils. Why do they form rapidly by steam of the boiling water as compared to boiling water itself? The answer for that is yes, steam has latent heat. See, see, if you have a container which has water over here, this is water at 100 degrees celsius steam is also coming the steam when it is converted into vapor phase obviously this is also at 100 degrees celsius 
out of these two which one has more energy you will say sir water is also at 100 steam is also at 100 both have the same energy no that's not correct actually steam has more energy as compared to water at 100 because you have converted from water to steam phase you have given some ml heat latent heat is given so that energy is also there with steam so steam has more energy even though the temperatures are same because they are in different phase hence you will see steam has more energy so it will rupture your skin more your skin will get burnt and that's why you will get blisters that's why you'll get blisters okay awesome yeah kunal i'll definitely try bacha okay so that's the number of questions that i had for today but i'll be coming up with one more session for mental ability and english for vit triple meanwhile if your j mains is over or about to be over then yep you can improve your scores from whatever percentile you are let's say you are at 80 you can definitely get 160 180 plus if you are already at 150 you can definitely push yourself for 220 240 plus if you are already at 200 you can push for 260 270 plus if you are maybe in the 50 to 100 range somewhere definitely you can try to get above 150 plus in the next attempt but for that you need to work hard and strategically so i am also conducting the crash course i am there in the crash course as well and you can check my crash course link is there in the description box it's for 8100 rupees after using the coupon code shhpro there is uh, a live batch also going on right now and the live batch has amazing teachers guys and that also includes 10 part tests 10 full syllabus tests 7 additional recorded sessions with assignments which has lots and lots of problems chapter wise and also you have post class doubt support so any doubt you have we can ask you do not have to spend time googling and verifying the answers and access to all the study and practice support and all of this is there till the last day of the J attempt so here are your teachers and timetable monday to saturday you will have it from three o'clock to 8 15. i think it's a good time you get free by 8 15. you start attending the crash course at three o'clock so before that whole day you are free for self-study and in the night after this you can have dinner and revise whatever you have learned complete your homework assignments and sleep off it's a very good timetable which you can follow and the syllabus will be completed by 9 july you can attempt mock tests after that so all of this at 8100 make sure you have used my coupon code shhpro only then you will get the benefit and you can get in touch in case there are some issues okay so thank you very much uh, if it is over don't join it again kaushik make sure you solve all the questions given in the crash course the notes the pdf whatever homework teachers have given also the assignments and attempt the mock tests and that's all nothing more is needed and give pyqs now okay bit sat classes definitely i will definitely conduct a bit sat class very soon definitely definitely before 4th of july i will do it definitely okay thank you very much guys for joining in today uh, i hope you guys had a lovely class do not forget to smash the like button down there it means a lot for me so that it will give me motivation for conducting bitsat vit mhd CET, whatever exams are coming i'll definitely try to conduct as many mock tests as possible day after tomorrow mat and english for vit triple e bitsat also coming very soon thank you very much leave a comment if you have any queries or if you are not able to find the course which you need to join that's it from my side as take care signing off